Y'all have to excuse me, girl. We are having some technical difficulties. Let me zoom all the way in so y'all can see me. Something's fishy going on with my camera, but we're gonna get her together. We're gonna have to get her to get her together. Um, so hey y'all, this is my first chit chat after being back for a minute, being away for a minute. Let me look at my yeah, I'm working from home, so I gotta um let me get to y'all in a second to buy a new laptop. Let me tell you what's going on. I'm letting y'all know right now that I, I, I'm about tired of the foolery with, with YouTube and everything. We'll get that to that get to that in a minute. But um, I'm having the issues with my laptop. My laptop, the keys have stopped working. The entire middle row has stopped working. So no, y'all thinking, what do you do? So what I have to do, I have a, I have a couple, I have a lot of equipment at home from work and just stuff. So I have two keyboards that I have. So I have to basically plug in a keyboard using a USB drive and edit stuff there. If I have to type, now I don't type a lot. I use my, my Mac solely for editing videos. That is it. So I'm gonna have to get another laptop. I was gonna have to get another laptop. But we are gonna talk about some things about the future of my channel here in a minute. But hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, you know, things are going on with my camera. My camera, we are gonna talk about her either, but some things are going on. It just makes it difficult when you want to record things, to record and have to do all this extra, you know. And YouTube in general, the, general, the platform itself, it's just not fun anymore that I found. So y'all know what we do. We jump, we talk about YouTube, what's in these YouTube streets. We talk about what I have been watching which really hasn't been nothing and we talk about home life catch up on home life and what's been going on let's jump into these glasses real quick i've gotten a couple of compliments and thank y'all but let me tell you something thank y'all because my husband did not recognize that i had new glasses and and and, and let me ex express why i'm concerned by that these are totally different from my other glasses i had rectangle Red, I switched between a red and a blue lens. So a couple of days ago, I was like, you didn't even recognize that I had new glasses. Mind you, I've been wearing these frames for about a week now. So two days ago, I'm like, you didn't even recognize, you, you not recognize that I have new glasses? And JB was like, yeah, daddy. I'm like, <laughs> so my husband looks at me, he starts laughing. He's like, they look the same like all the rest of them. Same thing, big, big and loud. I said, Ninja, these are pink, first of all, and they're cat eye, totally different. Ciao, anyway, so thank y'all for recognizing that I have new glasses. Now, I got these from Fermo. Now, let me pause and get you, um, let me show you what I originally got. Hold on. So, let me show you the glasses that I had originally purchased from Fermo um, last month. They're these frames, black with the gold rim in the middle. I think they're adorable, right? Very, very cute. Um, cute, huh? But the... Something's off. So I tried wearing them for about two days or so and I was getting nauseated. Like if something's off. So what I did is I contacted Fermo and was like, yeah, something's off with these glasses. Um, and they were very, very professional. And they're like, you know what? Keep the frames. And matter of fact, here's $112, like $110, $112 coupon to get you some more. I said, really? Bless your heart. So I went ahead and got these. They're different, totally different. Y'all, to the point to where a couple of people didn't even recognize me. I'm like, girl, they ain't that different. A couple of people at my husband's, at my, um, at JB school, literally walked right by me. I'm like, girl. So what's in these YouTube streets? Y'all, I am so over YouTube. I am over YouTube. As a content creator, I am over YouTube. As a active participant viewer, I'm over YouTube. So YouTube is in the middle of this change, this shift. We've all noticed it is happening. Um, I got an email today about, I tell y'all my business, from Google AdSense about monetization for certain type of videos with, with particular uh, specific content, which I'm not gonna go into the details about that, girl. Um, <sighs> They're also looking to change the way that you edit videos when you upload them. They're in the middle of this beta test, which I don't like it because it's, you know, I just don't like the layout of it. So I go in between the classic look to the this beta new design layout for those of us who actually upload videos. And so 
that could be a bit challenging in itself. I'm pretty sure there's some um, features on there that will make it easier, but right now I ain't got time to learn it right now. I'm busy, I got stuff to do. So, um, seeing the videos that are coming, <laughs> some of the stuff that I'm seeing, I'm like, please do not recommend. Have y'all been noticing some of the foolery they've been recommending for you to watch? Let me get to that in a minute. Um, I did, I didn't watch it, but it came across my screen. Uh, the young lady washing her, her hair with Dawn soap. And one of y'all asked me, are you gonna be watching a Hell no. I'm not no damn pot or spoon. I'm a live human being. Um, I didn't catch that video, but I think she posted two days later. Let me know if this is the same one, y'all. The young lady posted two days later, and I don't think this has anything to do with her washing her hair with Dawn soap, but it's kind of interesting. Um, she broke out like she's having some scalp issue now um she ate like a, she said she ate like an ice cream sandwich and broke out in hives well she had like a hive or something and basically she had an allergic reaction she's asking for advice and a couple of people are like you need to go to the doctor yeah girl you got to go see someone professionally um which by the way i oftentimes i'll get people asking for advice with their hair i don't mind giving advice on products but i do not want to be responsible for something that happens to your hair so if you ask me something more than likely i would tell you to go see a specialist i can't see your hair um i'm not a i'm not a, a licensed stylist so i may say something every now and then but when you're having extreme shedding breakage issues with your hair i try not to get involved yeah i try not to get involved this is peppermint tea. Another thing I've been noticing is <clears throat> the type of videos that are being suggested to me, uh, stuff that I have no interest in watching. And I will be real quick that you can click on the little three dots or four dots or whatever and click on they're not interested in seeing. One of them is Van Girl. <laughs> Van Girl. Van Girl is another YouTuber who is living out of her van. I think the concept is something else. I don't know what to say about it. I just, I admire people who could do that. Honestly, I do. I'm not singing that to be petty or anything. I admire people who can do that, who can live in tight, tiny spaces. I really do. Um, so this young lady is living out of her van and she has a few videos up. Now the thing that makes her a little unique is that she has over a million subscribers. So this is the thing, y'all. So there is supposedly, you know, rumors going around that she is a YouTube plant. She is an actress that YouTube put up and you know, hey, here's a man and yada, yada, yada. My thing is like, how the hell did she get her curls so flawless in the damn van, y'all? <laughs> um, she has um, loose curls and so, yeah, it came up as a recommendation. I watched a little bit of one of them. She was saying how she um, basically showers in the gym and all this. So. Let me get to the point. A couple of days ago, an article wrote that someone, a fan, a subscriber, randomly showed up to her parents' house. This is very dangerous for this young lady. If she's living in her van and she's posting where she's at, she's a petite looking um, young girl, very cute. Um, and so that could be dangerous, you know what I mean? So y'all, I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know down in, in, the, in the comment section. Do you think she's a plant or what? I know Nappy had a whole had briefly talked about, what a girl, briefly. She had a full video on, um, not just talking about her, but just YouTube in general. And I absolutely agree with her on, on certain things. Um, the demonetization of videos, videos, I have been seeing it. I've been hearing other YouTubers complain about it. Um, I personally have been seeing uh, a lot of the comments, especially when there's there's children in the video, YouTube has been um, shutting down the comment section. Okay. So yeah, y'all, that's been going on. Um, heard about a couple, and I am gonna speak about this a little bit. Heard about the separation of the interracial couple, I believe it's Jamie and Nikki. We have all seen their, their pictures. Uh, all over Instagram girl and this is the thing y'all now I'm gonna get to to the to marriage thing I found that they were the catalyst for the almost fetish of interracial couples I definitely don't think that's what their intentions were but you will see all these interracial couples and you will see for them specifically Nikki and Jamie goals really relationship goals couple goals I'm like girl duh. 
Hmm. Let me say this. If you team sprawl, you down for sprawl, I find nothing wrong with you love whoever you love, but don't push the narrative that in order for me to be happy, I need to be with a white man. No, because at the end of the day, most, I hate to say this, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter about the race. And I, one of my good friends had to learn about this because she, she felt that getting her a white knight would save her. Not necessarily save her, would be, would be better for her. And baby, it turned, out, it turned out not to be that way. Girl, people have problems no matter what race they are. You're going to have relationship problems, okay? Um, so, child, let me get into the, to the marriage piece. I don't know why they, they separated. I'm not a subscriber of them. I don't watch their channel. I really don't watch a lot of family channels or vlogs as it is, you guys. Jamie and Nikki's uh, separation. I don't, I don't, from what I understand, they haven't filed for divorce. They're separated. I don't know the reasons why. This is what I want to talk about, y'all, when it comes to marriage. Marriage is hard. I've said this over and over. It is work. They were married or have been married for six years, which is like six years and i know there's some of y'all who've been married 20 plus years baby six years is is something because that's history but that is that is small compared to what you are going to go through wait till you hit around that seven eight year mark girl he, he really gonna be getting on your nerves um and i've said this before your spouse will get on your nerves 70 to 80 percent of the time you have to work at it you have to compromise on a lot of things i do some things for my husband all the time that i do not want to do but i do it because i love him okay um i just don't see how you can have a successful relation no matter what type of relationship if you're on youtube or in in front of social media 24 7. that's one of the reasons why i take uh you know these little bitty breaks and my husband's not on, on cam you know jb's on every now and then but my husband's not on cam for those specific reasons okay not only that but but he's private and i want to keep that area that area private but I don't know y'all let me know what you think about that too i just don't see how if both of you are in front of the camera and i know you we don't see everything that's another thing too we don't see everything that that they are they are choosing to show us what what we see okay so but in the same token i just don't see how you can have a successful marriage and the same thing with reality tv i don't see how you can have a successful if you're there front and center all the time i need to have time not only do i need to have time for my family i need to have time for myself okay um so yeah um that's all i'm gonna say about that yeah marriage is hard it's difficult you have to work at it and, and this is the thing you both have to want to work at it. it just can't be one-sided if someone's not in it it, it may not work okay so you both have to be able to work at ease communication has to be on point and my husband he's we're struggling with that and i'm just gonna be honest with that's something that we struggle with till today but you have to be able to um change your communication style based on that individual my husband is an introvert an extreme introvert he's very quiet i had to admit to my best friend i said my husband rarely talks throughout the day he has his way of communicating but he's not the type to get up in the morning and say hey good morning honey how are you doing no that's not no that's not him now her husband the opposite he runs his mouth all the time he talks a lot and she's the complete opposite so you know you have that struggle of either over communicating or a lack of communicating but at the end of the day you have to come together and you know so um yeah, it's hard, like I said. It's, it's really hard. And at the end of the day, I feel bad for the children because that's who suffer. You know what I mean? That's who that's who really ends up suffering. Um You have to be we have to be really careful who we and this is just even beyond marriage. We have to be really careful who we choose as spouses, who we choose to have children with. I am seeing a huge um generation of fatherless children sometimes it's not the woman's fault um but sometimes it is i'm seeing a huge generation of fatherless children i'm seeing a upcoming generation that don't believe in marriage due to the history of either their parents or, or not having any examples of marriage is I'll, oftentimes you'll hear people say oh my great-grandparents were married this long or you know 
even my grandparents got divorced though, you know what I mean? So um, I oftentimes wonder what will society look like in another 20, 30 years from now because now these millennials, a lot of them don't believe in marriage. Now yeah, a lot of them are still, people are still getting married and yeah, people will still change their mind, but you have a lot of people who don't believe in the foundation of marriage, they don't believe in marriage. Um, and I was talking to a, a, an older woman the other day and she was shocked to hear a young man say that him and his girlfriend were gonna have, uh, plan on having a baby, but they're not gonna get married. And so she was she was like, what? He was like, yeah, because you know, most people, marriage doesn't work anyway, so what's the point? That's a whole nother discussion. We're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Y'all, my camera, hold on y'all. My battery on my old camera, was, on my new camera was getting low. So I'm on my old camera, so excuse the quality, girl, but we're gonna keep it moving, okay? y'all y'all this has been a challenge for me it's been a challenge um so what i've been watching on tv girl first of all they i've binge watched just about everything you can think of that that stuff i like to watch so i finished the oa which was very interesting girl but there were a couple of scenes in there i was like this shit is weird as hell it was the weirdest TV show I have ever seen. Honey, there was one scene where I was like, oh Lord, an octopus about to molest this woman. It was, Yeah, it was like that. Really weird, really weird, but I liked it. And unfortunately, I just heard that um, Netflix will not be renewing them for a season three. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm looking over here. Netflix will not be renewing them for season three. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. I'm currently watching Bloodline, which further confirms that sometimes family ain't nothing. It's a show called Bloodline with, uh, what's her name? Sissy Spacek with a cute little nose. Um, tried to get into 3% tea. I tried to, but it's a little weird. I, I looked at the first episode. It's called the 3%. It's, it's based out of, where is it based out of? Is it Brazil? Portuguese. Port oh. It's weird. I may need to, yeah, I may need to try again. Um, Started to watch Sense 8, y'all. Call me old school, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Hell, I'm supposed to be doing my hair, y'all. Why don't y'all tell me? I'm supposed to be moisturizing my hair. Ciao. So I... <laughs> A good 15 minutes on went by hell. I am using the Mish line. I'm just going to moisturize, y'all. Lord have mercy. Vivian, get your... Anyway, um... Ooh, it so smells good. So, y'all... Yeah, since a, like I said, call me old school real quick. One of the ways that I ensure that my twist outs look great is that I only retwist re the front because that's all you're looking at. I retwist the front and sometimes the crown. That is it. So that's what we're going to do now. Since a has way too much sex, all types of sex. There was once. I had to like turn it off. There was one scene where there was like a huge orgy with everyone. I was like, what the hell is going? I can't look at that stuff, y'all. I just can't. I mean, I never, I never could, you know. I just, no. And I don't want to look at that, okay. If I want to look at porn, I would turn on what do you, one of those, uh, what, Pornhub or something like that. I don't want to look at sex, okay. Um, so, no, I'm not watching that. You know what I do like to watch, y'all? I really do like those those cheap budget uh, movies, uh, black movies specifically. I like those movies. Like, what is that? Um, the Man in Apartment 3B? <laughs> With Old Boy from uh, Why Did I Get Married? I like that movie. I was watching another movie with Vivica Fox. I'm using a little bit of her hydrating and twisting butter to retwist, like I said, just the front area. What else is going on, y'all? So that's about it. Not a lot of stuff going on. Right now, I'm watching Jackie Brown. I love Jackie Brown. I love that movie by one of my, in my opinion, my favorite Quentin Tar Tarantino movie. He could be a bit much too, y'all. I think he has an obsession with the N-word. I really do. He, he, yeah. He has an obsession with it. That and feet. I noticed that with his movies. He's weird as hell. Um, home life, girl. Y'all. When I tell you our summer was crazy, our summer was crazy, y'all. Y'all, JB drove me absolutely crazy some days. And y'all have to realize he is with me all the time. And so he was really trying my nerves. Really trying it. 
<clears throat> but this is a lesson learned. I think that one of the things that we would definitely be doing is increasing his time at um, camp. Um, he can't be at home driving me crazy. He really can't. I love my baby to death, but he could be a bit much. Um, and he's just not listening. I mean, that's that's this age. But um, school started for us August 1st. I know it started really early down here. And um, one of the things we started with JB is because every week I feel like he needs money for school. And I'm like... Like, either they either have an ice cream at school, that's a dollar. They have dress down day, that's a dollar. They're having a book sale. They're having cupcakes. So, JB is at the age now. He just started first grade where he can understand the value of money. So, we are starting him on a... Um, he already has his chores on getting paid to do chores. And, girl, we, we being cheap, but JB's so humble that when we told him he would get a dollar... <laughs> When we told him he would get a dollar for get for doing chores, he was like, oh, a dollar? <laughs> I know. But I upped it, y'all. I told him that, you know, he we have a little chart. I have a little, a little chart. And he's still young enough to where he gets excited by stickers. So um, he has a little list of chores. It's less than 10 chores. And if he decides to do something outside of the box, then he gets a little sticker. And if he gets five stickers, then he, um, throughout the week, then he will get $5. You know, he's like, um, so, so can I, can I, he, look, he's trying to negotiate. So after I get three stickers, can I get paid? Cause I told him payday is on Fridays. I said, no, you can't get paid early, JB. I can't go to my employer and ask him if I can. I said, no, you cannot get paid early. I said, if you keep messing with me, I'm going to deduct some of your pay. <laughs> uh, he's like, you can do that. I said, I should. I said, no, baby, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to deduct your pay. So he's getting on a little, he gets basically an allowance. And I know some people are like, my child ain't going to get no allowance. They need to do what they're supposed to do. In my opinion, an allowance teaches them to get paid for their chores, teaches them about money management, teaches them responsibility, um, and cause and effect. Because I'm serious. If he starts to act a fool, then, you know, he won't get paid. You know what I mean? So it's good to start this stuff early. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're starting with him. Look at that, y'all. Hair is growing. I did cut my split ends. I'm just going to retwist these few. Why did y'all tell me I had to be... Y'all, y'all should have told me that I was behind, that I, that I should have been doing my hair. That was the whole point of the chit-chat, girl. Um, the future of this channel. Yeah, I told y'all how I felt about YouTube in general. And you know, when those things kind of happen, when you hear about there possibly being uh, YouTube hiring actresses or having people, it makes those of us who are really working on our channel... It kind of makes us, like, what's the point? You know, you get a little discouraged sometimes. Girl, this SD card said I has five minutes. Oh, oh well. Um, well, you get a little discouraged. And then when you run into issues like I'm having with my um, equipment and just just busy with life in general, you're like, what's the point? You know what I mean? And then it doesn't become fun anymore. It just doesn't become fun. Um, and this started off with me as a hobby, okay? Okay. So those of you who don't know, I'm repeating again. I feel like I'm doing this a lot, but I'm still getting, still to, till today, I'm seeing requests from people asking me to review products. No, I have two or three more product reviews that I, I withheld from you guys. Um, and that's it. There will be no, unless somebody, unless Jane Carter come out and say, look, I got this new banging line. I'm not reviewing any new products. I'm not reviewing any, any more product lines at all. I'm just not. Um, my hair needs to have a break. And one of the things that Miss Erlet talked about, which makes so much sense, she, she's told me this before. She told me this three years ago. She said, you know, Vivian, you use way too many products on your hair. Because what's happening is that you may, be, you may use a product that's great, and then, you know, you see great results, um, and then you use another product that leaves your hair dry. And it was happened to me when I've used, I remember once using two horrible products in a row, um, mane and tail. And my pro, my hair was just, did not respond well. And so you, she's right. You have that downtime where your hair almost has to reset itself. But then when you're continuing to use new products after new products, I am using 
when I was actively re reviewing products, I was using about three to four products, new products a week. Add that up for years. Add it up. That's a lot. My hair has stayed at the same bra strap length forever, okay? No new product reviews. Instead, we will be focusing on hair care and styles, okay, y'all? And so, yeah, that's it. That's it with my hair. I just wanted to retwist those few. And yeah, what do y'all think about that? Well, and I've always been wanting to do that. I've been toying around with that idea. Um, so that is where we're going with my channel. No new product reviews. We'll be focusing on hair care styles. And yeah, y'all will go from there now. I will continue vlogging. I will continue these chit chats. But I have a deep sinking feeling that next year will be my last year as an active YouTuber. And what I mean by that is consistently posting. Um, right now, I try to post between two to three times a week. That's very consistent. But y'all, I'm, I'm getting tired. And like I said, this is becoming more like I have to do it instead of I want to do it. And I don't want to come off that way. So I think this will be it for me. We'll see how it goes. If something changes, I will always communicate that with y'all. So that is it, y'all. My first chit-chat after a while. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. Y'all take care. Bye.